Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I'm gonna give you the crash course today on wiring your fuel gauge. Maybe something like this, a Faria brand fuel gauge. We've got the back of it diagrammed here in the middle, and then we're gonna talk about your tank and your power source. At your fuel tank, you're gonna have a pink wire and a black wire that come off of your sending unit, and those are gonna make their way to the gauge. Where you're gonna hook up the pink wire is gonna be the post that says S. That means signal wire. You can use a little ring terminal like this to splice in and hook to the post. Your black wire is gonna to go to your ground or GND, it might be a negative symbol as well. Then from your power source, this could be a battery, it could be a switch, it could be your key on power. Check your motor to find out what colored wire is your key on power. We have it done as red here as it's a power wire. Coming from the positive is gonna to go to your I post, that's ignition. That might also have a positive sign next to it. Your ground from your power source or your battery or your ignition harness is gonna to come to that ground post as well. From there, you're gonna jump a wire typically from your ignition or power post over to a flat post to power your light bulb. That just backlights your gauge. So in review, your signal post and your ignition post are gonna have separate wires. You can't touch those wires together. Your ground will share a ground from the tank and your power source. We hope this helps break down and simplify wiring in a fuel gauge.